but it involves a lot of thing, a lot of digitalization. It means basically we got to put aside all this old traditional uh, logistics. What's up guys, thank you for joining us again for Go Digital, the show that takes you on a journey from physical to the digital realm, something a lot of people are embarking on today because of the challenging times. Now stay with us to the very end and we'll tell you how you can get a very special rate and save up to 70% off on your digital business journey when you embark on it with DG Business. We have got a very special show today because we're going to be addressing an industry that's quite affected by everything that's going on around us the music business. Here's someone who has a passion in music, and he's someone who's actually started a business around this passion. He's the founder of John Lau Guitars, the one and only John Lau. Hey, Terrence. How are you doing, John? I'm good, good. Please grab a seat, let's get started. All right. So John, let's start at the beginning. How did you get this idea for starting John Lau Guitars? Okay, so how this whole thing started was when I was quite young, and uh, I was quite fortunate enough to have a very good guitar. And I realized that because my guitar is a slightly better guitar than my friends, uh, it made my learning speed and learning curve much more uh, normal, much more faster, you see. So I started getting into guitar making and guitar repairs because I realized that by fine tuning your guitars, you can actually improve your learning speed. And that was how I started the John Lau Guitar Repair Center about 10 years ago. Uh, that was our normal business until the pandemic happened. So I started off by saying that the music business was affected yeah. and you have friends in that industry. Yes. I mean, artists, performers, and they're really affected. There are no live shows. So you've done something quite interesting in, in yeah. helping this group of individuals find new sources of income. Right. So on March 11, 2020, WHO said, look, we have this pandemic going on. Right. And what happened was a week before mm -hmm. March, 11, I made a very big investment okay. to buy a ton of guitars, literally a ton of guitars okay. into Malaysia. The whole idea was to be a Southeast Asia distributor for a particular brand. That, that sounds big. And when March 11 happened and March 18, if I'm not mistaken, that we um, in Malaysia, we said, look, we're going to have a lockdown. So I was like, oh my God, I'm dead. Immediately, I sat down with my crew, my team. I, like, I was like, guys, uh, we need to figure a new thing out. Right? And what happened was we came up with this very, very innovative and interesting idea. But it involves a lot of things, a lot of digitalization. It means basically we got to put aside all this old traditional uh, logistics and all this, or, or everything has to go away. And we went out and think out of the box how we can do this. So that's how we started the guitar leasing model. Now, how this thing works was very simple, right? Started very quickly, I just started an online, uh, uh, online web, web, website. Uh, it's just like book this guitar for 99 ringgit a week. The moment they book it, they just pay 99 ringgit a week. We send the guitar to them. So quickly, I just went and uh, went, went online and searched. Oh, there is a similar service in Singapore. Something like Lamu for that. Um, I think they call it Ninja, some van or something like that. And I was like, wait, what if we do this same thing in every single country with a similar delivery service? And from there, um, I was like, guys, we can go multinational. But interestingly enough, what I found was people wanted to rent guitars. So at this point, you have a very lucrative guitar rental business, guitar leasing business, uh, that is basically renting out or leasing out your guitars, yes. which are something that you invested in. Yep. Um, but when I started out, this question, uh, it was about how you help musicians. Now, right. here is an idea I think that's uh, really gold. Yeah. Uh, John, please. So. As we were running the whole uh, renting, renting model throughout all around uh, Southeast Asia, uh, three months after um, the start of MCO, a dear friend of mine called me up and he was like, bro, I need to sell my guitars. And I was like, oh, what happened? You, know, you saved up your whole life, right? And he was like, I have no job for three months. I have no gigs for three months. What happened was he decided that, you know, he needed to feed his family more than to keep the guitars. And suddenly, immediately, I suddenly thought about this. Hey, all this while I'm, I've been renting my guitars, right? What if I would tweak it a bit and I would rent out musicians' guitars? So not only that we have uh, 
a bit a more scalable, uh, a, a rentable model. We also help the people that needs help the most now. So basically what it works was like musicians just, or, mu or collectors, not even have musicians, collectors. If you have a guitar, a reasonable uh, 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 looking guitar, you bring it to us, we set up the photography, we take the photo, we do the marketing, we do the logistics, and I even told them, guys, look, because we are a repair center, right? If anything happens to the guitar, it's on me. I'll take care of it. And that was how the, 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 the sharing economy guitar uh, uh, thing was created. I think it's an industry now because you have started something that, that no one's really done yet. Yeah. So this journey that, that you've uh, started and how you managed to pivot towards the digital, yeah. uh, what's the pain process like? 90% of my pain was to move from conventional business into digitalization. Like, um, calls was one of the biggest problems I had. I, at, at a record day, I had 112 phone calls. And that's when I started looking into things like Omni, mm -hmm. you know, Omni. Uh, and Omni has this really interesting way of being a virtual receptionist. So this helped us a lot. Digitalization means that we have to change the way how we normally respect our, our landscape. This means that we have to look at different avenues. So John, maybe at this juncture, we'd like to end by asking you to share some advice that you might have for people in the same industry, music industry, uh, in the repair right. uh, of uh, musical instruments, um, how they can kind of change their model moving forward because gigs have dried up, yeah. there are no live performances, and physical stores are not really going to work the same way anymore. So what, what do you have to say to them? I think um, one of the biggest um, changes that we have to experience is delivery. This whole thing, the change of um, industry has happened about three to four times in the, within the music industry. So like how MP3 came and took over the CDs and how it wiped out the distribution companies and uh, record labels. Now we have to find a new way to deliver this experience, music as an experience, to customers. Right? So an example is how I used uh, our delivery rental model to deliver a guitar playing experience to them. My advice will be find the way to re-deliver your experience, your businesses to the customers. That's, and it's a great time to start now because people have no choice. They're sitting at home and there's Lada Move, there's Grab and all this kind of thing to really help out in this whole thing. Thank you, John, for joining us and sharing your wisdom. I'm sure a lot of people watching have benefited from what you've just shared. We look forward to hearing more from you and all the best with your future. Enterprise. Thank you. The whole process of moving from the physical realm to the digital realm is challenging. And as you just heard from John, uh, there are some pain points involved, but solutions exist to help you along with your journey. So with DG Business and the Punjana Grant, you could save up to 70% when you embark on that journey with DG Business. You also get the benefit of streamlined e-commerce solutions with Avana. Also, manage your workforce with AltHR and business efficiency delivered via Omni at low cost. On that note, click that link down below if you're interested or log on to dg.my slash godg. I'm Terence. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Go Digital.